This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Monday, December 4th. MGM Grand Casino workers have ratified their new contract. That brings an end to a 47-day strike. The new agreement covers around 1,700 employees. It includes an average immediate 18% pay raise, workload reductions, and no health care cost increases for employees. Workers at Detroit's two other casinos ratified their contracts November 19. Get ready to pay more for your electricity. The state's Public Service Commission has given DTE the go-ahead to raise rates. It will cost the average customer around $6.50 more per month starting December 15th. DTE says the extra money will be used to boost reliability and speed up transitions to cleaner energy. More Americans are turning to thrift shops to save money. Used clothing sales are expected to reach $77 billion by 2025, more than double the amount from four years ago. With some discounts of up to 90% off retail, attitudes about thrifting have changed, with secondhand goods now seen as better for your budget and the environment. Top fashion designers are also taking note. More than 120 retailers now resell their clothing. Turning to sports, former Detroit Tigers manager Jim Leland has been elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Leland coached 700 games for the Tigers from 2006 to 2013, including leading the team to the World Series in 2006 and 2012. Leland spent 22 years in the big leagues and is 18th all-time with 1,769 wins. The Lions survived the New Orleans Saints on Sunday to notch their ninth win of the season. After jumping to a quick 21-0 lead, Detroit squeaked by the Saints with a 33-28 win. The Lions faced the Bears in Chicago on Sunday. After defeating Iowa in the Big Ten Championship game Saturday, the University of Michigan are ranked number one and will face number four ranked Alabama in the college football playoff semifinal game. It all happens at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena on New Year's Day at 5 o'clock. The winner plays in the college football championship on January 8th. That takes place in Houston. Right now, let's check in with our next weather meteorologist, Kylie Miller. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, everyone. On this Monday morning, temperatures are starting off on the cooler side in the 30s, so wear those heavier jackets. For the afternoon, temperatures will continue to climb into the upper 30s and the lower 40s. I think for Detroit today, we're going to be maxing out right at 40 degrees, but we are going to be in for more rain and snow tomorrow. Today, expect dry conditions. We're just going to be holding on to mostly cloudy to completely cloudy sky conditions. Unfortunately, today we are not going to see much sunshine. It's going to be slightly breezy at times with the winds out of the northwest, sustained at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So today, dry conditions. Tonight, we're going to remain with that mostly cloudy sky. By tomorrow morning, this time, we're going to start to see some scattered rain and snow showers pushing on in. This will continue for the early afternoon period, so watch out for some snowflakes. It's going to be very wet and spotty in nature. And then as we head into the overnight period, we'll have drier conditions, but for Lakeshore communities, we're going to have to watch out for a little bit in terms of some lake enhanced snowfall. Little to no snowfall accumulations expected for tomorrow, and then looking ahead to some drier days Wednesday, Thursday, plus our Friday. Temperatures are going to be back into the upper 30s for highs tomorrow and Wednesday. 40s return on Thursday. The warmest day this week will be Friday with a high temperature of 52 degrees. Chris. Thank you, Kylie. That's a look at your headlines. We will be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.